All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a very special guest. This is Dan, and Dan was able to secure a digital marketing job uh, in a very special way. He has a very interesting story. Um, I thought I'd bring him onto the channel. Um, you know, I wanted to get him on here because I thought his story was really good. And uh, Dan, welcome to the channel. Thanks for coming on, man. Yeah, thanks for having me, Shane. I'm happy to be here. Awesome. So basically, what I want to do is just take it all back to the beginning. And uh, before you even did, like discovered digital marketing, I'm sure you knew it existed, but before you thought like, hey, maybe digital marketing might be a good career for you, um, tell me about your situation. Because you did have a very kind of unique situation. You lived a very interesting life. You're kind of telling me right before the interview. So kind of tell me about your your situation and what was going on before you even discovered digital marketing. Um, yeah. So before digital marketing, I've, I've done so many jobs. It's crazy. I've worked on crab boats in Australia. I've done the whole restaurant waiter and got to get a job for Emirates Airlines. But before digital marketing, I was, um, yeah, basically getting their, uh, the ability to travel around Asia and that, all that DJing and performing at festivals and we, making music, living that uh, crazy lifestyle. And uh, I had kind of been getting burned out a bit. I stopped liking music in general. I just I just knew I didn't want to do it. I didn't like the lifestyle anymore. And I was wanting to fade from it. And one of the easiest ways to fade from the music industry and from DJ life is to have like a pandemic happen and something like pop COVID or something. Usually we'll mm. shut down things pretty effectively. And that's yeah. what happened. So I didn't have to work anymore in that job, which was a blessing because I didn't want to, but also it was a nightmare because now I couldn't make money. So like mm. was you know, all the savings were going away and all that type of stuff. It was very stressful, very hard. And, and at this point I'm living in Thailand, if I didn't mention it already. But uh, I um, decided it was time to make a move back home, back to America and try to figure out what's new in life. So I made the move, came back to the US and literally had no idea what I needed to do. I um and I I actually had no idea digital marketing was a job. <laughs> I okay. didn't, I'd never heard of this in my life. I was like, I I guess people did that job. I never I don't know, I just never thought of it. But um yeah, I was just browsing around YouTube and then an advertisement for set set uh sometimes digital marketing blueprint came up and it, it was interesting, but as most YouTube ads that come my way, I felt like this has got to be a scam, but uh, I'll, I'll give it a, I'll give it a look, you know? Hmm. It resonated with me that day. Um, he charged one fee. You could pay once and you have the course for your life. You get to join the Zoom calls for your life. You get to do all this for your life. So, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I just pay this money, it goes away. And I at least still have a course to look at or I gave it a shot. You know? Yeah. And yeah, anyway, I took the course, um, realized that all that digital marketing stuff I had been of doing that throughout my DJ career, like, you know, promoting myself on Facebook or Instagram and trying to create my own website for my own portfolio and all this type of stuff is kind of in the realm of digital marketing. So I thought maybe this is right for me. All right. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I Well, there's a, there's a lot for me to say there. I, I have a couple of different questions for you. The, fir the first thing I just wanted to say, uh, Seth and I, we go to business conferences together sometimes and we kind of run in the same circles. And Everyone tells him he needs to raise his prices, but he's very stubborn about it. He keeps his prices like, like kind of ridiculously low for the amount of value he gives. Um, so mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, he's done it for years too. Like everyone tells him he needs to raise his prices, and he's like, "Nah, I just want, I just want to keep it this way because yeah. people are so happy. Like people are so happy with the value they get that you know it's they think that you know they they gave like like basically he gave them far more value than than they gave him. So you know, they tell other people oh, okay. and like all that kind of thing. So, <laughs> so yeah, he's, you know, he's very stubborn and he just keeps the price low. Um, and then second that that's very interesting. So you worked for Emirates airline. That's as, as a, um, like a steward. Well, the, the funny story is I was going to work for Emirates airlines. I got the job. I got all of that. And I actually moved from Australia to Thailand because I was waiting to go to, to move to Dubai. Mm -hmm. And literally, like the day that they called me to say, like, okay, it's your turn to go to Dubai. And they got me the tickets. They got me the my apartment. Everything that same day, I joined my first DJ class. <laughs> and anyway, I ended up just not showing up to Dubai. I didn't call. It was just a no show to work. 
Oh man, because <laughs> so, you got you I, really I got into DJJ. Yeah, I was nice. like, this is my life. <laughs> so I just didn't show nice. up. I don't recommend doing that. It probably would have been a great experience working for us, but uh, it didn't happen. <laughs> Do you? And then the DJ job is really interesting. So did you? Like that's that's just super interesting to me. Did you regret becoming a DJ? Would you say like you you regretted it? No, no, no. I didn't regret it. No, I don't regret anything. It's just the moment that happens. It was just fun. Okay. <laughs> so, so you like at that time it was your passion, but then you kind of got tired of it, and you know it, it was fun for a while. But you know at that time it was really fun, but then after a while, you know you you got tired of it. You didn't want to do it anymore, and you kind of yeah. just moved on, basically. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I set my goal. I wanted to do it. I got a tattoo of a of a guy. A musician on my leg said like okay I have a tattoo of it on my leg I have to do it so I'm glad I accomplished <laughs> that goal and then it's time for new things <laughs> nice I won't ask you which one I won't ask you which one but <laughs> um <laughs> probably maybe a Vici I don't know just kidding just kidding which one no, no. But, uh, but uh yeah that's uh that's I mean that's a interesting life experience I you don't meet very many people who have been DJs before so that's that's awesome um and <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of tell people on my channel that sometimes if you do, if you have like a passion and you try to make it your profession, it'll actually ruin the passion for you, right? Because because it's mm -hmm. kind of like sometimes it's best to keep your passions as a hobby. And I've, I've told that mm -hmm. to a lot of people on my channel. It's like, you know, there's certain things I'm passionate about, but if I did it professionally, I would probably hate it because you have to do it at such a high level and you have to grind at such yeah. a high level that it almost like ruins the fun of it, you know, in some cases. Yeah, so yeah. in some cases that's true. In some cases it's not, but yeah, it's uh, I tell people that, like that's a possibility. So sometimes if they're, you know, their passion is call of duty, maybe they mm -hmm. should not try to do that as a profession in some cases, but uh, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> something I tell people on my channel. I, mean, that's, um, but I, I said it before to, to someone else, but I think it might've been stuff, but that, that's kind of why I like digital marketing is because mm -hmm. you can kind of like integrate it with your passions like slightly like mm -hmm. you can be a digital marketer for spotify if you love music or you can work for some companies that you really appreciate or you admire pioneer or mm -hmm. you know I, I like that it's like it frees you open to really work in any sort of industry you, you want yeah yeah so if you let's say you get obsessed with the surfing industry like you're really into surfing or golfing or something mm -hmm. you could probably work as a digital marketer in the golfing industry or the surfing industry or something right so yeah, yeah absolutely exactly. it gives you a ton of flexibility in that way okay cool mm -hmm. so you discovered uh seth's you know digital uh career blueprint and yeah. um you, you decided to take the leap you decided to jump in uh, even though it was a like an ad that popped up on YouTube or something like that, and you were a little skeptical, but you decided to jump in. Um, mm -hmm. How long did it take you to get a job? It took to, to get a job from when I first bought the course. It probably took a year and a half, probably. Okay. Yeah, I would say that. And it's not because of the course or anything. Like, I literally gave up. I was like, nah, like, this isn't for me. You know, I failed mm -hmm. a few interviews. And I was like, all right, I guess I, I, guess I stay. You know? mm -hmm. So I'm going to move on from this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So about a year and a half, were you trying that entire time or was there just like no. short times you were trying and then you kind of stopped for a while and then you tried again, basically? Yeah, it was like, I tried hard for two months, three months, stopped for like a year and then tried okay. another three months, something like that. Okay. Yeah. You probably stopped like right before you were going to get a job. Unfortunately. Yeah. But that's yeah, too no, bad. Yeah. Definitely. That's, that's, that's a good story though, because that probably inspires a lot of people that, you know, might have done the exact same thing, because I'm sure, you know, a lot of people do that as well, where they have some doubts, and then they stop doing it. And then they're thinking, maybe I should go back into it. So that's, that's good that, uh, that you told that story. I think that'll probably inspire a lot of people. I mean, so I, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, no, no, go ahead. I, um, I, I tried hard, I, I learned everything, I went through the course twice. And I just didn't practice talking to people enough, I would say at that moment. You know, I was okay. still used to living abroad, not talking, like not communicating. The DJ seems like you're meeting a lot of people all the time. Really, you're just behind a table and you can mm -hmm. only yell, put your epic hand. You can't yell, put your epic hands up to <laughs> an person in an interview. You know, that's, that's mm -hmm. the extent to my vocabulary at that time. But uh, <laughs> so, you know, I just didn't have practice talking to people, I think, in those first interviews. And over time, you know, I... I wasn't getting jobs. I gave up on digital marketing at that moment. 
and yeah. just kind of felt down on myself. And then I read a book. I read uh, a what the heck is it? <laughs> seven uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I mm -hmm. read this book, and I decided, okay, I'm gonna also start going to the gym more. I'm gonna start losing weight. I'm gonna like work on myself. And that's when I got the confidence, to, like, okay, I'm gonna try this digital marketing again. I feel like okay myself. And yeah, first got application it. after that, I got the job. So pretty interesting. That's yeah. awesome. And like when you tried it again. How long after that point did you were you able to get a job? After like from making my resume and all that, I would say it was like a month, but it was only one application. It was like a month of preparation, and then my first application, my first and only application turned out. Wow, you 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 <laughs> use the sniper method. You use the sniper method on that one. Found the the perfect <laughs> the perfect job and and just nailed it. Nice, that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so tell me about the course itself. How how was your experience taking the course overall? Oh, it was it was actually really good. I I like to be. It it was that I don't know the days, but I don't want to say you talk to me like I'm a third grader or something like that because it wasn't like that. But it was the perfect like blend of teaching me what to do, but also motivating me to do it. I at the very beginning of the course that he he tries to get you motivated and why you should do this, like why you should better your life and all these things. It just, I haven't watched it in like a little bit. So I don't remember exactly what it was saying, but it, it definitely motivates you to, to know that you can do this. You can like get a job in digital marketing. You can better your life. And mm -hmm. then just from there, all the knowledge that you got from SEO to PPC and all this, these are all words that I didn't know existed. And then he explained them spot on, like spend, uh, explained it very easily. It was easy to understand and all. And I, I got the jobs that I have now because of the experience builder that you do inside of the course, mm -hmm. creating the uh, PPC Excel sheet. Like that's mm -hmm. what got me the job. They saw that and they're like, hey, he knows what he's talking about. Cool. And it yeah. got me a job that had nothing to do with PPC. It had to do with social media marketing, but just they know I know things that are that they don't know. Like, okay, he knows about yeah. me. Yeah. And like the, the best way to learn is to just do. And that's that's kind of, mm -hmm. I think, one of the course's biggest secrets is it just teaches you to do projects that you're basically like you have to learn in order to do them. And then when you do them, they look amazing on, you know, on your resume and your portfolio that you that you show people, basically. So, yeah, it's just like you just really stand out from the other candidates that kind of just maybe took a certification or, or something like that. And there's no actual yeah. proof that they know what they're talking about. Um, yeah. So. Okay, what about the community? What did you think of the uh, community inside the coaching program? Oh yeah, they're they're amazing. I, even now, as you 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 ask a question, there's going to be people in the Facebook group that are going to try to answer you. Um, you know the the Zoom calls. I don't the the community is amazing. I don't I don't necessarily you know they're like they're not, awesome. it's not missing anything. You know, you go onto the Zoom calls, you ask questions, they. They, they answer them. They really care about you. They're there every week. I've never, I'm not there every week. I haven't been to the Zoom calls in a little bit, but I get the notification every single week that mm -hmm. they're live. And I can't believe it. I don't think they've ever canceled a day in the two years that I've, almost two years that I've had the course. That's amazing. It's, it's actually wow. amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So it's it probably, exciting. yeah, I, I think like, Seth and I have kind of talked about this a bit. And I think one of the big things, like obviously the information is amazing that he provides, but I think another one of the big things is just the community is so good and they offer a lot of support to everyone else. And you kind of just mm -hmm. feel yeah. like you're in a group of other people that are, we're all in the same mission. And yeah, it's just, you know, it's hard to get good at anything without being around mm -hmm. other people because human beings are just social animals, right? So, you know, if you were trying to get good at basketball, if you just played basketball by yourself all the time, it, it'd be really hard to get good at it. But if yeah. you play with other people, you know, you're probably going to get good, like much faster than if you were playing by yourself. It's just the, it's the same thing with anything, right? Digital marketing is yeah. the same way. So um, yeah, there's yeah. always someone there. There's always someone there. I mean, the community is huge now. <laughs> so there's always yeah. someone there to motivate or answer your questions, even like very deep technical questions, they someone will know the answer to them. It's awesome. It's amazing. All right. So uh took you about a year and a half. Uh, you really enjoyed uh, the course. Tell me about that first job that you landed. Um, what kind of job was it? What was the, the job title and, and kind of what did you do in it? 
Mm-hmm. Well, so the first job, well, I'm still at the company. So my first and only job so far is um, I was the digital, I'm not digital marketer, I was a social media marketing specialist. Um, so mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, what what do you think they can do? You, know, you go there, you post stuff and all that. But um, what happened was about three months later, I kind of got more involved in like the website and kind of building the website and doing SEO and just getting involved in everything marketing related. It wasn't even digital marketing at this point. It's like everything marketing related in the company. And they kind of realized that, uh, they, they realized that maybe we can use me because I had a lot of knowledge of other things. Like I, I know about social media marketing, but because of Seth's course, I know about SEO too. I know about BBC and then mm-hmm. I know about a lot of other things in the marketing, email marketing, all that. So uh, why don't we put you in that role? And then we can get it. We'll have a new social media marketing specialist. Mm-hmm. So I got lucky because of all the info I from Seth's course, I was able to get a promotion very quick. It took three months when I got upgraded. And that's what I'm doing now. I, yeah, I primarily work on the website and um, just everything marketing related. The companies, I work in the multifamily industry. It's mm-hmm. like a business uh, B2B. So it's not, it's not like your everyday marketing company, I guess you can say. Mm-hmm. It's very much like open. Yeah. Do you feel like you're learning a lot? Since you're kind of doing a bunch of different things, it's it's, it's just crazy that it's nonstop learning. Every day is learning something new, or something that's awesome. comes up that I didn't know existed that I gotta learn how to. That's do. awesome. But it's, it's so really you're, great, and it's, yeah, like you're getting paid to learn in demand skills. Basically, that's that's the way I like to kind of see it, right? Yeah, yeah. Paid to learn in demand skills with with coworkers who are all amazing. I, I don't know everyone there, so every day is just. Yeah, it's a good life for me. <laughs> it's awesome, man. Okay. And uh, I know people are going to ask. So if if you're comfortable, we can talk about the money. So at mm-hmm. that first job, like the 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 role that you first got into, um, maybe how much were you getting paid? And then, um, you know, three months later, you got into a different role. How much were you getting paid yeah, for that? And then so, your, your current pay as well, if you're if you're comfortable. Yeah, so I'll just make it clear for through digital marketing, right? I, I will through digital marketing, I started making 50,000, right? Then I got this and got this job and all that. Then it was that 55 I was making. And now I'm at the point where I'm making 70,000. I will say it's not specifically all through this company, right? But it's in digital marketing as a whole. (laughs) Okay. Got it. Uh Got it. That's awesome. That's pretty quick to get to that that number in a year, like a year and a half or so, or like two years. Or it's literally, how, how, no. how long have you been doing it now? I've been getting paid to do digital marketing for like 11 and a half months. So, oh, wow. Yeah. This is coming from not having any experience or anything like that. Not even though two years ago, I didn't know digital marketing was a thing. So, <laughs> wow. wow. So, yeah, that's like, you know, most careers or a lot of careers, at least traditionally, you'd have to go to college and then you might have to do like an apprenticeship or an internship and, you know, all this different stuff in order to get into it. Digital marketing, you didn't even know that it existed two years ago. And now after working 11 and a half months, you're making like 70K doing it. And I'm sure you're probably on track within two to three years, most likely to hit like the six figure level if you want to, right? If you, if that's what your goal is, if you want to, or if you want to live a more chill life, you could probably just like do a super chill job and just like write it out if you want to. I mean, here's like, if, if I wanted to, I'm like, like, who knows, right? Who knows what happened? But if I wanted to, I think I could probably do that this month if I, because it's not like, it's not like I told you I'm making this right now and I have no time on my hands. I'm like, I can't, I have no time to sleep or whatever. I have so much time right now. That if mm-hmm. I wanted to go and look for clients with the experience I have, and I know that the industry I'm in right now too, I could get a few clients if I want to start my own agency. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I could find some part-time work on the side and get some things and probably be at that level this month if I if I truly wanted to. And I'm not saying that would happen, but you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I have time to find clients. I have time to do more work if I wanted to. <laughs> That's awesome. But, yeah, it's, 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 the digital marketing is so open. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I was just going to say, like, digital marketing is a really good segue into entrepreneurship if that's what you want to yeah. do, right? If you want to start your own business, your own agency, man, like, marketing is 
probably the number one skill. I'd say marketing and sales are like number one, number two skills that you, mm -hmm. you'd have to know in that case. So yeah, it's a great segue uh, to getting into entrepreneurship or, or just freelancing if you want to, just being kind of like a freelancer as well, just making a little bit of yeah. extra money on the side. So um, mm -hmm. awesome, awesome. So actually you mentioned work-life balance and kind of uh, uh, like how much you like your job, your job satisfaction. So tell me about like your work-life balance and your job satisfaction in digital marketing versus maybe jobs that you've had in the past. Well, the past was obviously, as you know, like DJ and it's one, but even the work-life balance to that, that, that balance, there is no balance in that life. You're flying in the morning, you're working at night, you're also not being healthy at all. You feel like crap, you know? And, but uh, this right now is like, I know I'm going to work. I know I'm coming home. And I have the rest of the day to chill, relax, but usually it's spent like trying to learn more in digital marketing. You know, I get to, I work in hybrid right now. So I get to work home two days out of the week. I'm in the office three days of the week. The office is right down the road. So it doesn't even matter. I love going to it anyway. It's just amazing that I can, and it's, it's, it's hard to explain because my past is quite weird. You know what I mean? But just the ability to have stability is amazing for me you know i like mm. knowing what i'm doing i like knowing my schedule and knowing that say say i was sick or say i broke my leg and i can't go to work or whatever i can still go to work in my office like it's not it's not like i can't make money in you know what i mean i i'm not working in a factory somewhere yeah somewhere where you I, you know what I mean? it's just mm. i like the ability to know that i'm free to get the job done wherever i am i don't stress about that yeah is, is, is your thing for <laughs> is your job remote by the way or do you go into the office or is it kind no, of like hybrid. hybrid okay hybrid yeah. perfect okay gotcha I, i'm gotcha. at home two days a week and i'm in the office three days a week and like i said okay. the office is just like right down the road. got it got it so super convenient then okay so basically would you say it has one of the best job satisfaction and work-life balance if not the best out of any job you've had <laughs> easily the best easily, easily the best, the best. Okay. Can't, I can't compare to anything else. It's like ridiculous how much better it is. That's awesome. That's awesome. So what would you say uh, to someone who is thinking about getting into digital marketing? They're looking at the digital career blueprint, Seth's course, Seth's coaching program, and they're kind of on the fence. They're they're not sure if they should jump into it. Um, what would you say to that person? I would say 100% you should go for it. It's, um, it's really a no-lose situation. It's, it, if you don't get a job or if you end up realizing you don't want to work in digital marketing, you still learn like super valuable skills for whatever else, you, what anything else you're going to do, whether if you open up your, your own restaurant, you're still going to need to know digital marketing, you know, all this type of stuff. If you want to be a fisherman and, you know, you're still going to need to learn digital marketing to sell your, your reels. Or so I feel like it's the value is ridiculous. Like you said, like you've been telling them to raise the price, like, at that time, it felt expensive to me. You know what I mean? Because I didn't have anything. I didn't know what I'm doing. So I'm just like, but when you look back at it and you're like, that's so crazy how the value you get for money. And I'm not paying any more. I paid one time and I'm done, but they're still updating the course all the time. It's nonstop being updated. You know, so Zoom calls. So what, it has been hundreds of Zoom calls now. So if I think of how much money I paid, like over that time, what am I paying? Like $1 per call or less? It's crazy. Like, it doesn't, anyway, tell stuff that was fun. But, <laughs> or no, keep it, yeah. keep it low. It's, <laughs> it's just, I, I would say it's just every, everyone, you should join the course. It's a great investment for you, your life. And if you follow it and if you want to get a job, you will get a job 100%. It's awesome. Do they need to have a college degree or a previous background yeah. in digital marketing or, you know, anything like anything that makes them special? Do they need to be a, a, a previous DJ? To get a job <laughs> yeah you have to be no you <laughs> literally need to know nothing you, you need to know you can come in there without a degree it's 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 open to everybody oh like i say it's like if you're like me i i did the dj like i i'm not extroverted though i'm a very much an introvert i like to chill to myself i like to do this even a person like me i can do that you know i, I can do this job you can be any type of person 
you will find a job that will fit you for sure. And Seth's course will will help you with that. Awesome. I mean, not even sorry, it doesn't even help you with that. Like it literally will give you the job. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> Like if that's you do awesome. the course and do everything it says, you will get a job. That's just the hundred percent. That's awesome. That's awesome. By the way, guys, I totally forgot. If you want to check out the digital career blueprint, go ahead, click the link in the description and the pinned comment below. Uh, it'll be down there. You can check it out and see all of the different things. There's also a free training. So they offer literally like a free training that'll tell you what digital marketing is, the different types of digital marketing careers that are actually good and they're easy to get into and whether or not digital marketing is a good choice for you. So definitely check that out. Link in the description and the pinned comment below. Is there any questions that I should have asked you, but I didn't? No, you, you, you asked the perfect amount of questions. It, okay. It's a, I, I, there's so many things I could talk about, but it's not a, doesn't need to be talked about, I guess. <laughs> it's fun. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. But uh, yeah, I, I think it's awesome how you, you know, traveled all around the world. You, you traveled to a, so many different places, Australia, Thailand, all these different places. Um, and uh, you had a, you had a lot of fun, but then digital marketing, you, you came back to the U S and digital marketing was the career that you're really loving right now. So uh, thanks for coming on the channel. Really appreciate it, Dan. And uh, we'll uh, you guys link in the description, check it out. It's down there. Check it out. <laughs> Have a good one, man. Thanks. Yeah.